Come fly with me from Lusaka to London. My boyfriend dropped me off, so that's him just pulling my suitcase. I'm a princess, so I did no work, okay? First thing I did once we got into the airport terminal was get my bag shrink wrapped. I do this not for security purposes, but because my bag is cute and pink and gets scratched easily, so just to protect it from scratches. Then we went to the checkout counter and my bag was only 21 kgs. International flight is 23 kgs. So I was in the clear and I only had one bag like i was only checking in one bag when my allowance is two bags anyway got my boarding passes my bag was tagged pretty young girl from zambia you know that she ain't with the drama light-skinned girl osama you know she the bomb she cause trauma Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring a portion of today's video. If you've never heard of Cricut before, you're definitely living under a rock because I've spoken about them multiple times on my channel and I continue to be a stan. But basically, what Cricut machines are, are smart cutting machines that help you personalize your whole life. And when I say your whole life, I literally mean your whole life. Everything from your stationery to your kitchen labels to your bathroom wall decal to your hen party t-shirts your wedding party favors you can personalize any and everything <laughs> with your Cricut machine I currently have the Cricut Explore 3 and it helps me personalize so much and usually what I show on my videos is like the super easy DIYs that you guys can do using the vinyl but it's able to cut so much more than just vinyl it can cut cardstock and a whole range of other materials there's some Cricut machines that can actually cut through leather like how cool is that the possibilities are endless another thing that Cricut machines help you do is personalize gifts so gifts of all sorts I love me a gift I love giving I love receiving but giving more than receiving and my Cricut machine has helped me do exactly that it could be an anniversary gift a birthday gift a just thinking of you gift literally you can do it all in previous videos I've showed you guys how to make specified holiday gifts or whatever but in today's video I thought I would show you guys how to make just like a just thinking of you gift like a random you know you can gift it for like any occasion but for me it was just oh just thinking of you type of gift so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope I'm able to give you guys an idea of something that you can gift your loved one let's just get right into the DIY starting off this project with the glass I bought for a couple bucks nothing expensive at all just made sure I took the price tag off so that I had a clean surface to work with I then hopped onto my laptop and went into the Cricut Design Space app, aka the one-stop shop for all your Cricut designs. Whenever I get into Design Space, I usually scroll through to see what they have going on in there and also to get some inspo from other creators to see what they've made and designs they've used. I already had a rough idea of what I wanted to do, but some additional inspo is never a bad idea. Once I was certain on what I was going for, I opened up a new project, inserted a couple of text boxes, and typed out my content. I played around with the fonts as well as sizing until I had something I liked. When I'm doing my Cricut project, I usually have a tape measure with me, but this time I couldn't find it, so I tried to use the screen, and let me tell you in advance, I full on played myself. I got the white vinyl I wanted to use and made the necessary selections in order to begin the cut. I carefully stuck my vinyl onto the cutting mat and inserted it into the machine to begin the cut. Now here's where I realized I messed up the dimensions because it was taking way longer to cut than expected, but I ended up going back into the project, changing the dimensions and beginning the cut all over again.
When it was done, I peeled the vinyl off the mat, cut out the design, and peeled back the excess vinyl carefully. I weeded out the bits that needed weeding, then cut out a small piece of transfer tape to use. Using the scraper tool with a bunch of force is an essential step in making sure all parts of your decal transfer onto the tape. That's what it looked like once it was done, then I got the glass and carefully transferred it on. And this is how it turned out. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. I then packaged it up in the best way I could and it was ready to be delivered to its owner. He absolutely loved it. Hello. Is this thing on? <laughs> you guys, I don't know what this hairstyle is right now. I Let me show you the idea of what I had for mini twists and this is the reality. So I have no idea what to do with them, honestly. I'm just like going with the flow. Anywho, hey guys, welcome back to welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Yumba and I create YouTube content that you should subscribe to. Okay, so if you're an OG, you remember this room from like last summer. It literally has been a whole year since I was back here. But hello from London, what do you offer? <laughs> I don't even know what else to say, but come with me, come spend the week with me. I'm here for pretty much exactly a week, like seven full days. I arrived yesterday and I thought I would have the energy to like go to the shops already and like explore and do all of that, but I didn't. I was just so tired. Today I woke up at like almost 1 p.m. Like I just let myself rest because everything was hurting. Like my whole body was aching. I was just like, this ain't it, okay? <gasps> I've just noticed that the little sticker thingy on my tripod is not there. Anywho, so I'll just vlog my time here, whatever I get up to. It's already almost 4 p.m. and this is when I'm gonna leave the house, so let's go. I'll switch to vlogging on my phone, by the way, because I don't wanna carry the camera. Enjoy, don't forget to thumbs up, share with somebody, and of course, subscribe, 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 because we back, baby. <laughs> but there's always like a hand washing station somewhere. Over here, I keep forgetting to carry hand sanitizer. Like, I literally have to remind myself now that I need to carry hand sanitizer. Next day. It's a brand new day. Don't you feel it? Hey guys, I put my hair in pigtails last night like this to try to stretch my twists a little. The hair ties I have aren't that long so I couldn't do it like all the way but I was like this will help because there were like you saw yesterday the twists were just like in a random direction so I was like I need to get this together. Anyway, I can't even show you guys my OOTD because I don't have a full body mirror but I think I'll try to take some photos today while I'm out and about just to have some content. 
a child. Ten seconds later. Not back. I think it did. It did something. Because yesterday they were just in a weird direction. Wait, I'm watching Gigi. Gigi gorgeous. I haven't watched her in so long. I was just like, let me catch up. At least it's like laying down now. They're not really long. But at least we have some hang time going on. And I can tie it into like a cute hairstyle today, I think. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no cape bar for running into you. It's an awful house that wanted to get you out. I'm working on a plan right now to come through. I've waited for a lifetime for you to calm down. You guys, heartbreak on the full moon is seeing all this cute, cute, cute house stuff and not being able to buy it because it's heavy and I can't carry it all home. I'm just like, I want it all. I want it all. Do I need these? No. Am I still gonna get them? Yes. Y'all know the hangers I practically fight for my life to get in the South because they're always sold out or I, like nowhere has them. A pack of 25 of them here, even though I would have loved them in black, but like pink is, I mean, obviously my color. A pack of 25 is less than the cost of a pack of 10 at home. If I have to carry them with my head, I will. <laughs> oh, nothing feels the same without you now I've waited update time the sun is really sunny oh my god i hear the ice cream truck how cool my hair is doing a lot right now excuse it it's past 5 p.m i went back home to just drop off the bags i had and just relax a bit i placed a plt order and just relaxed a little so now i'm up and about again i picked up a jacket just because it's getting a little bit chilly now that it's you know getting late heading to ikea that's where i'm gonna eat as well hungry now I used a new way to come into Ikea today. I was just like, where does this path lead? Like the whole area is basically Ikea, but I'm like, where does this specific path lead? And I found like quite an empty parking lot. So I'm like, why not take some photos? Like why freaking not? <laughs> We had some technical difficulties there, but I think I got a few cute shots. So you guys, the sliding, so good, so good. Period. So in typical me luck fashion, the tripod has decided it doesn't want to close. Yeah, ne? <laughs> like how, sway? How? Ah. You guys, guess what I forgot to carry yet again. I'm just like, bro, what the heck? Hand sanitizer. I was like, are you joking? Anyway, at least it's cutlery here, even though I'm using my hands because it's like a natural instinct. idea how I'm carrying these bowls as well but where there's a way there's a way how can I not get these placemats like I don't even have a table yet but come on now like Chelsea come on now even if it's like in my next next house at least I'll have them right how cute is the setup the lighting it's giving like who wouldn't want to just do skincare unprovoked with lighting like this like <laughs>
on my stress You been ignoring all my texts It's getting harder to avoid That funny feeling in my chest Can't help but wonder what's coming next And I've been staying up and getting all worked up Down to sunrise, sunrise Thinking about the next morning Happy Sunday! So today, the lighting's behind me. Today, I've let the twists just hang. I didn't feel like tying them. I was like, this is kind of a look. I don't know if it is. Probably saying no from the other end, but whatever, okay? <laughs> Sometimes just let your hair breathe, basically. I bought these clips from Primark yesterday that I planned on wearing today. But then, literally, I just let my hair down and I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Let me have, like, mini locks or whatever today. And you guys, I'm living for this weather because tell me why I'm in shorts in October in the UK. Like, do you know how mad that is? No, because, like... It's literally so sunny. I'm so happy! <laughs> throwing gang signs but anyway i just met like the most nice employee in chipotle like he was just happy to do his job and happy to help like i'm like we need more people like you in this life he was so nice and so helpful he was just like cleaning the tables and i asked if they have takeaway packs and stuff and he's like oh yeah we do but instead of prompting me to go get one like i was about to get up and go get it he's like no 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 i'll bring it but let me just give me two minutes because i need to change my gloves like wash my hands change my gloves like all of that then i can help you and he literally did it i was like oh, you're so nice so yeah he even brought a bag oh, i'm just like that's so nice You guys, I just took such an L. I forgot that today is Sunday and grocery stores close really early on Sundays over here. They close at like 4 p.m. and it's past 5 p.m. so go figure. <laughs> oh wow, I literally just wanted to get two things though so... But yeah, I literally forgot. I just needed, well not needed, I wanted to get a drink. The sky behind me, like, can we get into it? Oh my gosh, like it looks like like a zoom artificial background, but no, it's real. God snapped. Anywho, Anyway, I wanted a yogurt pot because I plan on going to Bristol tomorrow and I just wanted like a quick breakfast, but I forgot. Later. Hey guys, so it's 7 p.m. I was trying some weird thing with my hair, like doing a side part. Let's just not, okay? But it's 7 p.m. I'm back home. This is like the earliest I've been back like, ever since I came to London, like when I started exploring the day after I arrived. So my agenda for right now is just watch a bunch of YouTube videos, unpack, my stuff like start packing into my new suitcase i think i said that last night i don't remember yeah like i have no excuse not to pack because now i have the second suitcase so i need to do that right about now and just like sort out what's going on here 
but yeah last night i folded some of my clothes and it made the room look so much better just folding like my already existing clothes the clothes i carried here so now i'm just gonna do the rest and i have my timu packages temu timu packages to open up um, my shein package is still not here and i'm praying it gets here by wednesday good morning <laughs> I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Light a cottage room blues, yeah. I wanna try myself inside the juice, yeah. It is actually quarter past one right now, 1.16 and we got in 20 minutes earlier than we were supposed to. So I'm meeting up with Janie and Auntie Jane for lunch at Zaza Bazaar because child, I've been craving the food and also I've been craving cornstar martinis and they have like a two for 12 pound cocktail special thing during lunch. So yeah, I'm just so happy like ah, I think Bristol to me feels the most like home like it's a given almost you know what I mean but I love it here <laughs> Not me coming into Broadmead where the bank used to be and it's not here anymore like it used to be right there but I saw it further down so we're not lost this is still home ground there it is
day you get to drive a bus. <laughs> Purr. 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. found like a cute picture spot i'll try set up right here before they kick me out to take some photos because the lighting is lighting there's my little setup there's actually where i wanted to take them but it's a bit slopey so the tripod might fall because of the wind but that's the setup i'll take some here and then take some like down there You guys, the main character things I've just done right here, right now, I was gonna say right here and right now at the same time. I'm so proud of myself, like the content is contenting! <laughs> the lighting is actually dipping, so I came at like the perfect time. I'm so happy with the content I got. Also, I ended up asking one of the security guards, like, oh, can I just, you know, take photos here? He's like, of course you can. I'm like, yeah, I'm not trying to get in trouble with the feds abroad. So now I need to find food because I have not eaten at all today. Today. Also, I got compliments from strangers. They're like, looking good, like, you look beautiful. And I'm like, I messed up. I didn't carry a bag for my shoes because they were new, so I just threw them in my tote. But I didn't realize, like, duh, after I wear them, they're gonna get dirty. So, yeah, it's fine. Anyway, I need to wash this bag anyway, so I'll just throw it in the laundry later. N Y E M B A. Yeah, T E M B O. T E M B O. Yeah. We have a Samsung. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey! <Wow. laughs> Thank you. No problem. Do you want to be in my vlog? Yeah, sure. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Say hello. hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. That's why you guys, time time, I love London. People here are so nice. Like, people just randomly smile at you, walk up to you and be like, hey, what, what's going on? Like, <laughs> it's so cool. But yeah, now I'm like taking the long way around. Finsbury Circus, just for Chimpuena's sake, cause why not? There's nice cars, nice people, clearly. <laughs> it's just a vibe. So I found the actual place where I was meant to come to take photos, which was eight Finsbury Circus, but I found the other place, so it's fine. But this place looks more aesthetic. But I'm not. I'm not trying to do the whole shebang all over again. Like I'm tired. I'm genuinely tired. And it looks like there's more activity over here, so it would have been a bit harder. I'm literally trying to convince myself why I didn't just follow my my own instructions. This looks so pretty. Wait, let me show you. Literally right here was the spot. Like I found it on TikTok. So I looked up Eight Finsbury Circus. So instead of coming all the way here, I stopped down there. But yeah, totally fine. Like I said, there's more people just like coming out. It's somewhat like it's a workplace. So. so you meant to text me twice with the invitation. You're out there waiting with your hazard light. So 
I almost went to McDonald's. Like I looked it up where the closest one is. Hold on. Yeah, so I almost went to McDonald's like I just said, but I'm like, you guys, all I've been eating is freaking McDonald's. Like change the menu a little. On my way this side, I stopped by Amazon Fresh and I showed you guys like how nice the, wait, how nice the fruit was looking and everything. So I'm like, why do I not just go get something from there? And it's not every day McDonald's like, mm. I was gonna go back to the one that I went to earlier, but I looked on Google Maps and there's another one right down the road, so it's the one I'm going to. That's coming by surprise, so you meant just what you said. When you sent the text, you press and not intoxicated. No, you weren't drunk or you designated. Got your car parked and I'm glad you made it. fresh chitumbua but i'm gonna go do skincare just now my skin is breaking out so badly due to various factors number one being that i've just been eating trash <laughs> while i've been here like back-to-back -back dairy everyday mcdonald's like it's I wanted to do laundry, but then there's still stuff in the washing machine from whoever was doing laundry before me, so I don't want to be the person to take them out. So whenever they get back, they'll take them out. My job now is to open packages and start packing for real because some clothes are here so I can cushion the suitcase how I wanted to. Good morning, my neighbors. I'm so crusty because I literally just got out of bed. I'm about to say some TMI stuff, some ungodly things, some like I'm embarrassing my ancestors there's things but i have not brushed my teeth right now <laughs> this is my outfit <laughs> so what happened was i wanted to get mcdonald's breakfast today like i actually wanted to be cute and you know go sit in there and have breakfast but i woke up late the thing is i woke up one time i stayed in bed till i ended up being late and then the one day when i tied my hair all sorts of ways is the day i don't have time to remove the hair ties before i have to leave so breakfast you guys they made me wait for so long this is the longest i've ever waited in mcdonald's like i don't know what was going on with the kitchen staff like the manager girl was just yelling at them because they weren't doing things right because my order was placed at 10 53 and they stopped breakfast at 11 right and then at like around 11 she's like where's the hash brown like she's yelling in the kitchen like where's the hash brown and they're like but it's 11 o'clock and she's like bro this order was placed at 10 53 like get it together then she's like do you want a hash brown or fries i was like a hash brown like i came for breakfast that's why i made sure i placed the order before 11 you know so yeah she was on them but yeah they made me wait like 15 minutes which is unheard of with mcdonald's like you get your order in like five <laughs> barely even but anyway time to chow down <laughs> First time trying a McMuffin and I'm excited I like the hash brown so I just bought a hash brown on the side because why not the first time I saw these the McDonald's hash browns I was so spooked because as a kid my uncle would make us hash browns and they were just like fluffy potatoes on a plate right just like not in this shape so when I saw this I was like what do you mean I was so confused but hey we live and we learn they come in different shapes sizes forms whatever so we're gonna take a bite of this first because I'm so excited. I have my ketchup pot. Mm. Too good. And they wanted to make me get fries instead. Mm -mm, baby. I knew what I wanted. Now time to taste the McMuffin. 
I'd always stray away from them because they typically have eggs on them but then I clocked like I can just tell them to put no egg like I can select no egg so that's exactly what I did let's taste her not too shabby I don't think it's anything revolutionary but it's not bad otherwise this hash brown baby it's the truth huh if I had this lighting in my kitchen, I think I'll be vlogging from my kitchen at home like all the time because TV has it. Purr. Oh, and we have Google Led in the background. <laughs> I was watching her video on her prime dental experience that's been in my watch later. For now, I gotta be productive. I need to open up a Shein package that came so I can pack some stuff and I'll get to whatever else I have to do later. Okay, bye. I had a package that was delivered next door, so I I just collected that and then this is the Shein one. It's so big, you guys. I was not expecting it. So amongst all the things I got from Shein, this might be my favorite. I'm so excited to use it whenever I get home. And yeah, I think I'll do a review on it in one of these vlogs or like as a TikTok or something. Time check. It's around half past three now. I've done some laundry. I've changed clothes. I'm wearing a cute pink turtleneck from Primark. I didn't realize it had a stain on it like on the arm. Do you see that little dot? And I only realized it after I put it on after I cut the tag off today. And I'm literally going back to Primark today. So had I seen it prior, I would have just exchanged it, but I didn't. I've also done some groundwork in packing and unpacking it and like that Shein box was massive you guys like I didn't realize I went that ham shopping but I did and there's other packages waiting for me in Oxford tomorrow so I don't know how I'm gonna carry all of them but I ain't got a choice. Where there's a will there is a way. it's starting to drizzle right now i'm just walking down the high street because i've never been down this way but i should probably be turning around right now to get into primark so i'm not rained down upon but i've just seen that there's a nando's like right there i've never just walked down this way so i'm like out of curiosity let me do the needful also this is the lightest i've been ever since i came to the uk because i'm always carrying my tote that has like my camera my tripod just like a bunch of stuff and then i always have a jacket in hand but today i'm like i'm just going with a little bag like i'm not trying to be weighed down for no reason so oh they have a snappy snaps here that's how you just like print out photos and things cute not much else there's like restaurants and things <laughs> i'm walking back now the lighting walking back is actually so much better <laughs> i was thinking with the snappy snaps i'd actually like forgotten that i wanted to do it i have like empty frames at home that i wanted to put in pictures of my boyfriend and i because i'm corny like that or whatever one thing about me i'm gonna be corny we go again okay so <laughs> Yeah, that's what I might do tomorrow because I don't leave till late. Well, not late, but like afternoon. So I'll see my arm hurts. Let me go to Primark. I actually lied. Instead of Primark first, I'm going to check Super Jug because a friend of mine asked me to check for like a lip oil. So I'm going to check for that first and come to Primark. <laughs> from Ikea. It's not even morning, it's like past 12. <sighs> Chad, today is cold as fuck. 
It's actually just pretty chilly, like you need a jacket. But I didn't carry my jacket because I didn't want anything making me heavy. Went to Ikea, did my return, and repurchased the bowls that I needed to repurchase. And then some, because one thing about that place, so tempting. Like, you'll just be picking stuff up that you didn't see the first time around or whatever. Later. You guys, I don't even know where my camera is right now, but this is the current situation. I'm pretty much packed up now. I just have to throw that. I think I'll put it my handbag for now i just started zipping up this case zip that one up fight with them to go downstairs and then i'm gonna call my uber <laughs> that it gets dirty so quickly. My new purple case already has scuffs on it. Like how annoying. But anyway, I'm just trying to do the TSA look thingy combination right now. So I looked up a video and you need like a pen. I have a pen, I just don't know where it is. I'm not about to fight to look for it. So I'm gonna use my stud to do this. Okay, code is set. Suitcase is locked. Yay. So happy Friday the 13th to me because tell me why my bag strap literally just broke. Like, I don't even know how that happened. Like, I just looked down and it was broken. Like, how... I have a fanny pack in my other carry-on so now I need to start switching bags because I need like a bag close to me to just throw things in and get things out of quickly. Very annoying, but... Whatever. Time is 4 a.m. 4.01 to be specific and I have like a six hour layover six hours and a bit actually this is the longest layover I've had since like 2018 or 19 when I was traveling through Ethiopia and I had like a six hour layover as well I found somewhere to lay down so I'm just here I'm texting Kay I don't know why she's still awake oh my gosh mini story time you guys I didn't tell you how for the first time in my life I was made to throw out stuff when traveling like you know they make people throw out things like if you're overweight or if you're carrying like prohibited items or whatever especially like the liquids bit because most people don't be carrying like 100 mils they carry things that are over 100 mils and they make them throw them out so for me what had happened was the guy like the security guy who was checking my bag at sec I just said the security guy I was about to be like at security anyway because I had left some liquids in my bags just because usually they're just like whatever just go you know but no this man really wanted to do his job and long story short he's like no you have too many liquids like the legal limit is one little zip 
Ziploc bag full of liquids and you have so many blah 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 why didn't you just check them in blah blah, blah. I'm like I didn't check them in because my checked bags are heavy and I needed to take stuff out I'm not going on holiday I'm going back home of course I have hella liquids like duh anyway da 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 whatever long story short he's like I'm trying to help you here I'm like you're not trying to help me he basically let me get away with majority of the liquids and then the final I think like three little Ziploc bags full and then the fourth one he's like whatever doesn't fit in here and need you need to chuck out and I'm like what's the point if you've let me get away with three why not let me get away with four and a half or however many it was gonna take to carry everything so I ended up throwing out like a deodorant two hair oil tubes my hyaluronic acid and toothpaste so my breath stings yeah and I was just like looking forward to you know you look forward to brushing your teeth when you get off the plane because you've just been sat there with your mouth clothes like your breath stinks okay <sighs> so yeah that happened he almost made me throw out my soul de janeiro bum bum cream like are you joking that's a 21 pound freaking lotion body butter hell no that was that but anyway i'm just gonna chill relax for a bit i still have so much time like my flight is at like 9 a.m local time and i have no ounce of sleep in me i barely slept on the flight i only slept when we got on there after taking off i slept but as soon as I was woken up for food, I just couldn't go back to sleep. I barely even ate. You guys saw me eat Wagamama's. I was still so full from that. But one thing about Emirates, child, they gonna feed you. And for a girly who has girl dinner every single day, like I basically survive off of like one proper meal a day. I feel like it's too much food. So I ended up packing some of it. Like I packed the breakfast snack and they handed out lemon cake at a point. I just packed it. I was like, I'll just have this later. There's officially 25 minutes left till boarding begins. I'm so excited. But now I think I should get up and like walk around or something to kill the 25 minutes. I should check where my gate is. I don't know where it is. So yeah, I've just been sat here watching YouTube videos, scrolling on TikTok. It's so interesting how different your FYP is out of the country. Like wherever you are, like your For You page is just different and like it's pretty cool. My Dubai For You page was just a mix of like still the UK but also just like random stuff and it was just like really interesting so I stayed on there for quite a while which I don't usually do but let me check my gate and then get going Matcha latte. yeah Nimba. thank you I made it on board I have my matcha here which is even getting cold because I couldn't drink it because I was in, like walking and whatnot I was literally putting the sugar in at the gate we're going home I'm so excited another lazy afternoon the clouds covered in gray third coffee of the day Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. Out of the car. Uh uh. Well, oh, man, well, oh, man, well, oh, man, purr. 